Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete, and I get to spend the next week with you as we continue our series of the who's who in the Bible. Today, we start a brief study on Samuel. Samuel is the biblical character who takes Israel from being a nation that's led by judges to a nation that is led by a king. During the time of the judges, the Bible tells us that everyone did what was right in their own eyes. So there wasn't much consistency when it came to following God. God interrupted this pattern of disobedience by bringing Samuel, the prophet, into Israel's history. Today, we'll look at the circumstances around Samuel's birth. There was a woman named Hannah who hadn't been able to conceive a child. Now, her husband had another wife who had children, and the second wife would tease and ridicule Hannah. And this mockery would intensify when they went to Shiloh to worship the Lord in the tabernacle. Now, Hannah was distraught because she had no child. So during one of their annual trips, Hannah went to the tabernacle to pray and to ask the Lord to help her. Let's read about her prayer. It's in 1 Samuel chapter 1, and it's verses 10 through 11. This is what she prayed. She was deeply distressed and prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant, but will give to your servant a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, and no razor shall touch his head. So Hannah begged the Lord for a son and promised that this child would be dedicated to the Lord. We learn two things from this. When we are in distress, we should pray. Hannah does the right thing. She lets God answer her deepest need and desires in her heart. What are you facing today that is causing desperation? Is there some way that you need God to act? The fact that we all face challenges that are bigger than any of us can handle, we need to be like Hannah at those times. Pour out that need to the Lord. Let him see your desperation. Next, what we see here is that Hannah dedicates her child to the Lord. Every child is a gift from God to parents, and every child should be dedicated to the Lord. We should pray that our children and our grandchildren will come to know the Lord and to put the Lord first in their lives. This is something that only the Lord can accomplish in a child's heart. He must move in their hearts and bring them to himself. So pray to that end. Dedicate the kids in your life to the Lord. Hannah's desperate prayer is an internal prayer. She's praying in her heart. And while she's praying, her lips are moving, but she's not speaking out loud. Now, the priest at the time who was there in the tabernacle, Eli, he observes her and assumes that she's drunk while she's praying. And he rebukes her for being drunk and coming into the tabernacle to worship. Hannah explains what's really going on and her deep, deep desire for a son. And we can see Eli's response to Hannah here in uh, verses 17 and 18. Then Eli answered, go in peace and the God of Israel grant your petition that you have made to him. And she said, let your servant fi find favor in your eyes. Then the woman went her way and ate and her face was no longer sad. God answers Hannah's prayer. She is able to get pregnant and she has a baby boy and names him Samuel, saying, I have asked for him from the Lord. I hope you'll listen to tomorrow's word for the day so that you can find out how Hannah keeps her difficult promise that she made. Calvary, I hope you have a day filled with prayer.